This Friday's free game is Decimal Place Value Challenge. This game gives students who use decimals, <laughs> that's a lot of them, the chance to practice with decimals in a fun game. Before you decide to download this free game about the place value of decimals, maybe you should determine if the concept is really that important. I don't know. Look at the sign and tell me. Are decimals important? And students do need practice, paper and pencil practice, in balanced mathematics. But that's not what truly engages them. Decimal place value will. Here's how you play Decimal Place Value Challenge. First, students read the directions. Simple directions are included in case you want to use these. You could just play this video from my YouTube channel for your students. That will teach them how to play too. Then players, working in pairs, put out their place value mats. Next, the leader, or the person who just won a round, spins the greater than, less than spinner to determine if this round will be about making the greatest or the least decimal possible. Players put a deck of cards, remove the tens and all the face cards, and they put them face down in the middle of the group so everyone can see. Aces represent ones, and the jokers, they are wild. You can make them any digit you want. The materials manager deals the cards, or each pair turns over the top card. Everyone has to be patient to let that card be placed before the next card is turned over. And once you've placed a card, it can't be moved. As the players are given cards, they place them strategically. Based on whether cards have been placed on these place value mats, do you think they are making the greatest amount possible or the least amount possible? As play continues, the pairs ask each other questions, such as, what should you make this wild card? And why do you think you should make it that digit. After all cards have been placed, each player does the following. Reads their decimal to their partner and to the entire group, records the number they created, and writes it in expanded or word form, or both, and then records a new number after the leader has turned over a mental math card. At the end of the game, players use the exit questions to share what they have learned with their team. Answering these questions verbally is a great segue into students writing about what they learned in their math journals. As a check for understanding of the effectiveness of the station activity, each player completes a passport. This check for understanding and the student's math journal entry both serve as a bridge to the way the student will need to demonstrate mastery of the concept on a state assessment. Here it is. It's time for this Friday's Math Station Hints. Plan for the above level learner by adding a challenge to each station activity. All learners deserve respectful, meaningful, and engaging activities at their level of mastery. This simple step can let you provide for all learners. Tent may seem silly, but it's not. It saves time and allows the student to explore a concept instead of trying to find a pencil. <laughs> Just include pencils in your station bags. All right. Go to glennatabor.com to get your free copy of everything you see here for the decimal place value challenge. All you'll need to do is add a deck of cards and your class will be ready to play and learn place value with decimals.
And don't forget, go to glennatabor.com and join the Tabor team. Basic membership is free and it gives you access to even more free math materials and everything from every one of the free game Fridays. I have something else to share. So many of you have asked for Tabor Rotation training but couldn't make it to an institute. Well, you can make it to Tabor Rotation to go because Tabor Rotation training is going online. Visit glennatabor.com to reserve your space now. I can't wait for you to use this Friday's free game. Your students will be learning about decimals, place value, and the entire time they'll be having fun.